Eh bien. Do you come bearing news from Monsieur Marat? No, not yet. I have it on good authority that he is in the quarries in Montmartre. He's the only person who could show you a way to reach the Bastille. Don't forget. Is your plan to arm the populace going as planned? Oh, far from it, madame. The situation is hopeless. Even if they were armed and formed into battalions, the Patriots would not be able to fight. Why is that? Most of the strategic points in the city are inaccessible. A strange illness strikes all who try. They are seized by an irrational fear, one so great that those who do not lose consciousness go mad or perish on the spot. This makes it impossible to do anything. Any attempt at an uprising is a fool's errand. The locations you mention share a common feature. A statue holding a lantern. That's right. From what little I could make out, they appear to be depictions of a Vestal Virgin watching over the sacred fire. Une lanterne des morts! What do you mean, monsieur? Lanterns of the dead. Ancient stone pillars that are found near some cemeteries. Our ancestors kept a fire going on top of them. Today, no one knows what they were used for. A symbol of light triumphing over darkness, perhaps? Others claim that human bones, mercury and lime, were burnt there. Some odious sorcery that was meant to entrap the tormented souls that wandered around the burial grounds. That makes sense and confirms my observations. I am now certain that the King's Lanterns capture the anima essence of the dead who have been cast into purgatory. And that this essence is what allows the automats to stay in motion without needing a key to wind them. Paternoster quia in cellis sanctificetur nomentum. Now that I think about it, madame, you obviously are not subject to the harmful effects of these lanterns. No, au contraire. When activated, these statues reveal an apparatus that allows me to repair myself. It follows that if you destroy these lanterns, the people will be free to fight again. Unfortunately, they are preternaturally strong. Nothing can so much as damage them. If only Monsieur Lavoisier were with us, he would surely be able to solve this conundrum. Were you present when the Estates General was dissolved? Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. I witnessed what it cost to defy the crown. We laid bare before the king the abject misery of his subjects. It was more than he could suffer. So he had the people's representatives dispersed by means of bayonets. At least we only had to contend with soldiers made of flesh and blood, positively angelic compared to the machines that have swept through Paris. I have recovered Minister Necker's bonds. Do you intend to entrust them to me? I have not decided yet. You can't wait much longer, madame. Postponing this decision will only fuel rivalries within our assembly. Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre. Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. The bonds are in my possession. And to whom do you intend to give them? I haven't decided yet. What more do you need to know? Oh, I think I've argued my case in due fashion. To think the fate of the kingdom rests on the judgment of an automat. <sighs> Unbelievable. So how is Monsieur Marat? I haven't met him yet. He is your only chance to reach the Bastille, Aegis. You must speak to him. He's holed up in the quarries of Montmartre, hiding from the Marquis de Lafayette. I have recovered Minister Necker's bonds. Do you intend to entrust them to me? Yes. I have chosen to place this fortune in your hands. Very well, madame. I promise that I will use it for one purpose only. To give the people their freedom. When a monarch violates the people's most fundamental rights, insurrection is their most sacred and indispensable duty. But we must be wary of warmongers, who would lead the rebellion in the name of the people, because all they truly want is to become tyrants in turn. 
Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre.